Okie dokie, not too shabby whatsoever. Getting Got very lucky with the BVC grab as one of our spells here, because it's definitely just carrying the ever-living crap out of me, <laughs> which I will gladly take. Oh, hello, Ladul. Ladul Atul? Well, let's just reach out and grab all of these kiddlywinks and then see what happens. See how many ogres we can get to our side, shall we? Ladul is still alive, right? So not this one, not this one. No? Ladul? Did we... No, we didn't get you? You son of a gun, you escaped. You escaped a fate worse than death. How dare you? And here I thought we had things in the ball. It's honestly just embarrassing. Want to grab as many uniques as we can here. Of course, Boulder Beetle turns into an ant. Makes sense. <laughs> just like real life. Um, let's just grab you. I'll try and keep my zombies alive here as much as possible. If I can take care of you myself, I will be happy to do so. Okay. Well, that actually hurt quite a bit more than expected, and now Barbara's got their claws in us, but that's fine. Great job, friends. Just doing amazing work out there. So what is my move speed when walking? Like, is this... Okay, now I'm back to normal speed. Slow Sally again. Still moving at one per turn? Is that right? That feels wrong. But, hey, that's fine at the end of the day here, I guess. Let's uh, step once to the side, and then I can just freely starburst to my heart's content. Hopefully kill more of you. Jeez Louise. Terrifying. It's completely self-inflicted terror, seeing as how there's no reason for me to put myself in harm's way like that. But sometimes you just gotta, gotta risk it. You know, show your friends what they're following you for. It's the only way to get a, uh, a true level of trust and honesty and friendship with your uh, indentured zombies. Which, of course, is the goal of any aspiring necromancer. Friendship. The, uh, the real motive behind all evil magic at the end of the day. Okie dokie, let's just finish off the rest of the dungeon here with hopefully a little less excitement. All in all, it seems like it should be fairly straightforward for the most part here. Oh, finally get to scroll blinking back. Feels like I've waited my whole life for this one night. Fantastic. Definitely grab that bad boy. Hopefully use it in a slightly less wasteful situation than the original like what did we have four of them or something ridiculous like that and we just burned through those sons of guns um are you just an unassuming fire elemental or are you here with friends i feel like you've got to be here with friends do i have anything that's really useful against you fortunately bbc doesn't can't grasp things that uh are quite this Fluid, I guess. Oh my gosh. Now I've brought you up with me and I have no idea what I'm doing. Oh, wait, what the heck? Sandblast just murdered you? 2d20, I guess, is a decent amount of damage, but I did not expect <laughs> one shot, one kill. This is also, I was about to say, Azrael, you son of a gun. Um, hmm. The real and death is the fervent friendships you make along the way. Exactly, that's the spirit lost zone. But okay, there's not much I can do against Azrael here. I mean, we also have good resistances, except for the damnation. That's where things get a bit nasty. But I believe Azrael only resorts to such things at low health. 88 health overall, hey my friend? Hmm. I'm probably just going to take a step out of dodge here. And I have, like, no willpower. So yeah, banishment at 29%. Oof. Don't like that. Son of a gun. 
Okay, uh, please die. I expected you to die so much faster. Oh gosh, I have no idea where they are now. Reach out and grab ya. This is so stupid. I should just... Okay, I'm just leaving. I'm so lucky I didn't get banished there. Highly deserved to get banished based on my uh, decisions. But hey, I'll take it. Um, and then reach out and grab you, of course. Yada yada. It's my life now. Fantastic. I guess I can bring you into the fold temporarily here. Or not. That's cool too. It's not like I... Not like I wanted any friends anyway. That's totally cool. Very, very fun. Ah, there we go. Friendship. We've done it. Total damage, claw for six, peck for six. Okay, not great. They definitely do better with weapons, those sons of guns. But hey, I'll take it. Friend is a friend. And hopefully till the end. Though I highly doubt it. No offense. <laughs> it's just not something that... uh. Zombies are well known for their longevity and style. Also, dang it, our reaping times are over here. Just as we open up, maybe I do want to get rid of you two sooner than expected. Oh, another... Another wizard. Cool. That's very neat and not at all sketchy. You know what? I think we just have to start blasting here. Wizard down, fantastic. Get some fear, and while this is still up, let's try to get some more friends under our belt, shall we? A couple of vault wardens, wouldn't mind. Definitely would not be too uh, displeased with that. Okay, I think we took too long to kill them, so no vault wardens for me. That's a bit of a shame, but hey, not the end of the world here. Do I don't want any ice damage. Oh. I see damnation behind us, so that's probably an Azrael. Um nope. I'm out. Man, do I even bother finishing off the rest of the dungeon? Maybe I just leave them alone for now and see what other spells we get as we continue to move forward here, because it's definitely less than ideal, shall we say. Hmm. So what else do we do here? Maybe head off to our S branches, shoals, probably looking okay for us to try and deal with right now. Fire magic generally does pretty well in that section. They do have a lot of icicle magic there, unfortunately. We have crappy willpower and very crappy cold resistance as to be expected. Hmm. No gloves on this run, really? Huh. Well, it would be nice to find an artifact in that department for sure, but let's let's head to Shoals and see how things are looking, see how things are feeling. Can at least dip our toesies in, get a bit of a, an appreciation here. Reach out and grab you, grab ya. And how's a water dip zombie gonna do? Nine health. Or nine damage, rather. That, that makes sense. Definitely tracks. Um, can keep Grabbing you. The dead are slithering. I love that. Normally it says the dead are walking whenever you convert something, but that is very cute. Um, let's reach out and grab you. And you. And let's try and get the, the turtles while we're at it here. Not too shabby. It's a decent little selection of friends for us to start off our journey with, and we still have some dead Slytherin to come. Fantastic. Okay, let's go, Kidly Winks. Bit of a, a field trip. Oh my gosh, it's still going? That reap lasts forever. Holy moly. I also never set a cap on fighting. Let's Let's do so, so that we, at some point, maybe switch gears a little bit there. Definitely don't mind some ID. Thank you. And reach out and grab ya. As has become our customary response to everything here. <laughs> hey, don't blow on me. Very rude. Oh. Oh, 
I would love to have you on my side. I feel like I'm about to lose my whole army here, unfortunately. Can I just, like, infinite foxfires from behind? Oh my gosh. Holy moly. Great work, kiddos. Holy crap. Never mind. Army vs. Kraken. The results might surprise you. Not too shabby whatsoever, my friends. Here come our ice cold tossers over here, though. Barbara. Um, let's see. I mostly hit just my friends. That's probably not great. Let's go this direction instead. Oh, at least I can grab water elementals. That's nice. Gone so used to elementals being in a non solid state. It's impossible to grasp. Slips right through your fingers, but I'll take it. Another Kraken. Okay, I can't exactly rely on the uh, same strategy this time around, but I can just try to burn you. Burn you out of it. Fantastic. Oh, hey there, my not stone giant. You were a uh, cyclops. That's what you were, of course. <laughs> it's not like I forgot. I'd never forget my best friends. Uh, just a silly prank you see another gosh darn kraken and this one i'm in a terrible spot okay just teleport out of there fantastic <laughs> never be caught in deep water with a uh, a kraken at least not if you can help it jeez louise there we go finally hitting all those caps that we set just moments ago so where do we want to go from here could start training a weapon skill, but I don't really see the need to. Things are going pretty stellar for us at the moment here. Alternatively, I guess spellcasting could continue to come up, get some additional spell power on all those bad boys here. At least just something like 14 shouldn't be too, too bad. Hmm. I'm actually pretty happy with it, where Invocations is at at the moment. Probably do need to use it a bit more often here. So we've been sitting at max piety for a very long time. That's fine. Let's train some dodging while we're at it here. Why the heck not? Should uh, ramp up pretty dang quickly for us. And every little bit of defensive capabilities will help out in the long run. And put a magic regeneration. No, thank you. I can hit through my friends, right? I can. It pays to be vegetarian, apparently. DCSS universe at the very least. Fantastic. Oh, and finally, once again, getting the uh, selection of scrolls that we've been missing oh so dearly. Oops, that's what I meant to do. There we go. And let's try to just get some allies on our side before we get put to sleep at the very least. Fantastic. And that is... Not too shabby for ourselves here. Reach out and grab ya. And then just torch ya. Fantastic. Ooh, and we still have reaping going on here, so let's try to once again take advantage of that. Never mind, it's done. <laughs> Notice just in time for it to not matter. Fantastic. At the very least, we do, uh,. All right here, and I like being able to fire Bjorner's Vile Clutch through all of our friends as well. And I noticed that our next spell that we get under our disposal is Summon Cactus Giant. Hmm. Well, no time like the present. Get them, boys. Um... <laughs> Slightly terrifying for sure, but I can reach out and grab you, and then my, my Cactus Giant is on top of you here. 32 damage, it's not too, too bad. We only have 73 health. I mean, half decent evasion, so we do have to contend with that, but we're at least helping reduce that with our uh, clutching here, so fantastic. Okie dokes, let us actually do a bit of silt rearranging while we're at it here. Some Cactus Giant can take Conjure Flame in our easy-to-reach hotkeys here. And I think Starburst can potentially take Foxfire as well, just because it's a bit more uh, 
oftenly used at the moment. That should be just fantastic. Scroll of ID, thank you kindly. Let's get that sorted and not too shabby. Okie dokie. Cactus Giant, please and thank you. Come to me, my pretty. Beautiful. Ah, uh, another javelinier. It's worth the barb hits, I think, just to walk away. Oh, there's a lot of water between us, unfortunately, which is not great news for me. Jeez. Those barbs definitely pack a nasty wall up here. Can I even make it? Oh, crud. There's another merfolk coming at us from the other side. Oh, great. We just have the one stairwell up. This is still first floor. Still, still early days. Kind of forget about that. Let's reach out and grab you. Can I at least hit one of you? Oh, gosh. Javelinier is back. Okay, bog me up. Teleport me out. Do -do -do. Is it even worth it? Yeah, let's blast one more time. Sure, it will hurt, but... Life hurts. Oh gosh, still have barbs in our skin. But I think if I just ever so slowly start walking this way oh gosh darn it that one has <laughs> they have boomerangs <laughs> son of a gun always expect the unexpected when merfolk are in the mix there we go finally get an opportunity to heal oh and a kraken cool um no thank you i'm not interested no thank you Murder you. Can I get to the stairs, please? <laughs> get me out, coach. <laughs> oh, me oh my. Okay. Round two, baby. Let's do it. Right, deep water. That's not going to work. Um, Can I at least get both of you on my side? There's one more up here. If we could all just gather together. Ooh. Zombies Kraken. Could be cool gonna take a lot more damage than I'd like I would assume is there anything else I can do to potentially uh, help out here it's not a lot I guess it's, it's still nice to like bow clutch through all these ten decals holy crap that was a lot of damage well let's just heal up and Forget about that plan. No zombie cracking for me today. Please and thank you. Terrifying stuff. And that's why I was giving the first few Krakens such a wide, uh, wide berth. Immediately started to feel a bit more cocky as we got further and further along. And boy, was that a mistake. <laughs> Whoopsie daisies. Um... So my fox fire doesn't burn the plants because it can go through them. Little weird logic wise, but I'll take it. I'm more than happy with that. Oh, javelin here. Oh, me oh my. And we're not in a good uh, reverse formation here, unfortunately. And if I get put to sleep, I think I'm in an even worse spot. You know what? Let's do it. Just blast them all. Has to be done. Can't see that place. So oh, interesting. That's uh, kind of working out for me there, but unfortunately, still uh, slightly terrified. All things considered. Let's see. What's my next best bet for murdering you? There we go. I can help out. I'm helping. Perfect. There we go. Okay, shoals as terrifying as ever, or ever rather. Let's just stay away from the deep ocean. There's apparently just 
abounding krakens here on this floor. I mean, this would have been an interesting vault to try and break my way through to try and uh, get a bit of an army following. I mean, we ended up needing to retreat because of an ill-timed kraken, so it's not like that was ever really an option, but still interesting to try and think about stuff in that regard for using Animate Dead and try to kind of take advantage of the spell as much as we possibly can. Aha! You son of a gun. How dare you. Oh, you know what? I think you were actually... No, you're not in my line of fire. Okay, my bad. Regardless, we gotcha. You son of a gun. And I guess we'll just keep exploring. Maybe maybe less uh, krakens on this floor. Could be nice. Could be pretty swell. One can dream at the very least. Okay. Death the Axe. Oh, it's Polyphemus. I don't like it with the Dream Sheep. If the Dream Sheep weren't here, not too upset about this because it's going to be a nice army for us to uh, bring over to our side at the very least. Reach out and grab you, Polyphemus. Okay, that hurt quite a bit. <laughs> Um, what else can I do? Right, Cactus Giant. Go get him, Tiger. And I could actually, if things start to go poorly here, also bring out um, some Penthouse abilities, which I, even after reminding myself that I should really use them, completely forgot about once again here. My bad. But hey, I guess still managing to make a buy without them, so we can save them for the, the truly desperate measures. This is Polyphemus, right? Heck yeah, buddy. There's something just so, so satisfying about getting uniques on your side as zombies. Similar to the same reasoning as to why when you're playing as like an orc messiah, so an orc character, Bio, anytime you come across Saint Roca, you gotta hope and wish that you convert Saint Roca, because it's one of the the greatest pleasures known to to the game is bringing uniques over, convincing them of the wrong in their ways, and bringing them to your side once and for all. Um, and okie dokie, let's be slightly cautious here as I start to take a bit more damage than intended. Even our zombies are starting to uh, look a bit worse for wear. Can we stop with this deep water stuff? I kind of hate being able to fly in shoals just for that reason. And like, where is Polyphemus? Oh, there you are, you son of a gun. Get over here, buddy. Okay, let's uh, manually tell our character to go this way, please and thank you. If you could be so kind. Okay, deep water is actually kind of crappy for us. Mostly because the majority of our friends can't come with. Oh, geez. Let's get a wall of briars as well. I think the satyrs at least can't uh, cross it either, so kind of works out in the long run. In fact, can I just abuse the crap out of you, Kidly Wings? Is that fine? Can we not deal with this in the real way? <laughs> reach out and grab ya. Reach out and grab you. Come on, Polyphemus. Go get him, Tiger. Beautiful. Okay, well, so that's slightly terrifying. Only 8 AC turns out kind of rough for this stage in the game. We're just barely making it work for the moment so far. Don't have high hopes as we continue forward, but at least for this uh, exact moment in time, it's it's okay. It's okay. Wouldn't go much more uh, ambitious than just an okay, but I will gladly take that. Son of a gun. Oh, crud, that's not what I meant to cast. Oh, gosh. Okay, well, there goes my blinking, I guess. Um, then let's teleport. How much damage do each of you do? 29? Oh, man. Oof. This can be a rough one, Killywinks. Hmm. Big Kraken can't see me. The 
infinite willpower. <laughs> oh man, one health. Um, hmm. Welp. I mean, come on, you you can't see me, right? Okay, heal wounds. Oh my gosh. He's done it. Of course, never doubt in my mind, but jeez, Louis, this game, don't do that to me. Not like that. Oh, again, I hate auto exploring flying characters. <laughs> it is so nice to be able to fly innately when coming to shoals. It's one of the greatest advantages a character can find, really, at the end of the day. But unfortunately, it does uh, kind of have a nasty habit of biting you in the. Uh, the bite every once in a while here so that is unfortunate last blink troll gone once again so we're back on emergency rations when it comes to our consumables here but i'm sure we'll figure it out just fine just a couple more, a couple more shoals floors to go and i'll be a little bit more manual about the whole thing and that will hopefully get us past the uh the worst of the consequences here, we'll see how it goes. Immediately auto-explore, glad it didn't <laughs> bite me in the butt too quickly there. At least give me a few moments to uh, recognize my mistakes. It's a very kind of you, game. And slowly work our way through these sons of guns. Okay. Go get him, tiger. No? Okay, I guess it all worked out in the long run regardless, but still a little bit confused as to what went on there. <laughs> Excuse me, sorry about that. Um, okay, I guess that Manticore is just not that interested, so we're gonna keep on keeping on here. And as we learned in the past, these buddies actually terrifying for this character. Oh gosh, that's not what I meant to cast. There we go. What can I do against you? I can stop you from following. Oh gosh, and then I'm faster than you, but I'm heading into unexplored territory. <laughs> And I guess I'm not quite faster than you. Once they're in the water, that's where we start to hit our real stride. Um, hmm. What can I do to avoid this? Oh, I guess I can wall of briars. That'll do it. And just keep everyone, keep back, you fools. Not too shabby. Probably want to do something similar against you. Do you know what? Let's just bite this one in the butt, shall we? Immediately bring up the wall of briars. Fantastic. That is much, much better than I've come to expect as of late. I will gladly take that and start burst on all of these sons of guns. Just fantastic. So you're saying there's a chance. <laughs> At some point I need to bring a zombie army about, but I am not super comfortable with our current uh, situation right now. Haven't had any fights that I thought we had an easy victory on. 